so with this wig i did not get a closure with it because i wanted to try the flip over method and this was my first ever attempt to make a wig using the flip over method so the footage that you're seeing right now i used the hot glue gun method of course that's the method i always use but it did not work out okay um you're gonna see a completed wig uh with my brown background and everything and I did get some really cute pictures and everything like that. But structurally, the way that I made the wig was wrong. Um, yeah, so the top of the wig, you could see visible tracks. Like, you won't see it in the video, but like I could see it. And then I showed Adrian, he said he could see them too. So I decided to take all the tracks off the wig and start over. And I'll show you guys that footage later. Um, but um, it's actually easy to make the wig using the kind of flip over method i just didn't know what i was doing the first time but i'm glad i decided to make it over and you guys will see that footage soon hey guys it's Brittany, and today i'm coming to you guys with another wig review so, so today's review is brought to you by lee moda and this is actually the second time i am doing this wig. okay from pictures the hair and everything looks super cute but structurally the wig was horrible so this morning i took all the hair off the wig cap that um i took all the hair off the wig cap and remade the wig the right way okay so i didn't record myself making it the second time but i do have some footage of me um doing it the first time and i might just insert how it looked the first time which it was cute but it was not to where i wanted it to be so this is how the wig looks the second time around it is very full I have like I had I used all four of the bundles that they sent me and then like a fourth of a bundle of some hair I had left over from a different company and as you guys can see I do not have a closure on it okay so I just use like a, a regular dome cap but I do have some hot glue gun method videos that you guys can check out it's basically the same way of making a wig, just minus the closure. So um, I'm just gonna be blending my hair with this wig. This is, I told you guys I'm gonna be doing a lot of curly wigs because I want some curly wigs for the summertime. Hair itself is, it's soft. I do have a lot of snags in it, but this hair has been through a lot, even though I haven't had the hair that long. Um, just because I had to take it off the cap and everything. So, um, I'm just gonna place it on my head and try to blend it with my natural edges. What we're looking like now. I can't be out here with that straight hairline, obviously. So, I am gonna shift this wig to the side. This is already looking cute. I have the yellow and the black bottle now. I bought the black bottle this morning because this is what I originally uh, used a couple years ago and then I started using this one. But this one feels really gross on your hands and I'm just gonna be using this for my edges so I'm gonna see how this works again. this with a little bit of water and then run some leave-in conditioner in it now this hair is shedding a lot because I did cut the wefts and I cut them like I cut them twice because I had to make the wig twice so some of the areas some of the tracks got cut twice And I am using the Garnier Whole Blends Smoothing Leave-In Conditioner with coconut with coconut oil and cocoa butter extracts. I've had this for a while, but I never thought to 
I just started using it um, on my curly wigs recently because um, Natural Joy, well, Natural Joy, she recommended that I use the Garnier Fructis, and I was about to buy, I was about to buy some, but I, then I realized I had this um, already at home, so that's what I'm going to be using on my curly wigs until it runs out. I don't want to wet it too much because I like how fluffy this side is, so I'm just going to put a little bit. Oh my god, this already looked like some vacation hair. I'm here for it. Oh, this is some cruise hair, and I've never been on a cruise. Like, this is beautiful. I love uh, straight hair, but oh, curly hair just looks so. Curly hair is sexy. But so is straight hair. All hair is sexy, but I'm feeling myself with this curly hair. with this hair but y'all I put this hair I'm gonna have to judge this hair kind of leniently because I did do a lot to it and I haven't washed this hair yet so I am getting some tangling with this hair and some shedding the shedding's coming from me cutting the west as I was making this wig and the tangling's coming from me having to pull the hair off the cap and remake it so the hair is going to be tangled i'm going to have to wash it and i'm going to come back and show you guys this hair like i'm going to be so curly this summer so it's beautiful hair gorgeous effortless beach wave look but i ha but i am getting some tangling and shedding but that's all because of me I'll come back and see if washing and conditioning it will make it less tangled. Um, if you are interested in this hair, head over to Lee Moda and I'll leave a link in the description box for you guys. I want to thank Lee Moda for sending me this hair and for being patient with me as I decided to make this wig over again, but I feel more confident with how it looks. It looks very pretty and I'm excited about how this turned out. Um, and I want to thank you guys for supporting my channel. I still have to get, I still have to get my 75k giveaway together, but I'm going to be doing that. And I want to do the giveaway before I do my wig sale. And I, I was supposed to do both in February, but I got really busy. So look out for a giveaway and a wig sale in March. Um, I'll get, I'll keep you guys posted on everything. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, turn on your notifications. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.